in these problems, we're being asked to translate the graph of a function. Uh, and they're either adding something to the function or subtracting something from the function outside of the parentheses, or they're doing adding or subtracting inside the parentheses. When you add just something on the end of a function outside of any parentheses or absolute value signs or anything like that, but just a number hanging off there at the end of the function, it's going to move it up or down. And it's going to move it up if it's positive and down if it's negative. So that's pretty easy to remember. So in this case, we don't know what the function f of x is. They're not telling us. But we do know we're going to add 2 to it outside the parentheses. So that just means the whole thing moves up 2 units. So the vertex here, down here at 2, negative 2, is going to be at 2, 0. And the whole rest of the function will, will just... Um, be replicated just two units up. Now, when the number is inside the parentheses, it moves the function left or right. And here it might seem a little counterintuitive, but a negative moves it to the right and a positive moves it to the left. In this case, we've got a minus two, so we're going to move two units to the right. So we'll start here and then the whole function just continues on uh, two units over to the right. So that's a little bit of work with translating the graphs of functions.